Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, we continue to see the stage getting set up for the coming empire of the Antichrist, the coming new world order. We continue to see the tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. The globalists, the world leaders, and the elite are not shy about sharing their plans to bring forth this coming new world order. So I had to share this one with you guys today. This is wild. Uh, thank you to all of you that had sent me this. I wanted to look into it more first before I shared it again to make sure this was valid and it is valid and this was actually said. Uh, this was recently sent to me from prophecytracker.org. Recent article titled, Trilateral Commission Calls 2023 Year One of the New World Order. And then they had reference where they actually got the article from. It was actually from Nikkei Asia, if I'm saying that right. Again, Trilateral Commission Calls 2023 Year One of New World Order. Folks, the Trilateral Commission just celebrated its 50th year anniversary at a summit they just held March 10th to March 12th, just a few days ago, at the Taj Palace Hotel in New Delhi. The Trilateral Commission is a non-governmental organization that seeks to deepen understanding between the United States, Europe, and Asia. At this summit, there was retired foreign ministers, ambassadors, CEOs, bankers, and academics all in attendance. It was a very secretive meeting. However, there was one person that sat off to the side during the summit and shared a portion of one of the speaker's speeches. So just to reiterate folks, the speaker who gets up at the summit and speaks to the crowd, and again, according to commission rules, uh, you're not allowed to identify the speaker, but the speaker ends their speech by saying this year, 2023, is year one of this new global order. Very interesting thing to say. So year one of this new global order? Year one of what? Year one of seven? Um, does that mean that the empire of the Antichrist is going to come forth by the end of 2023? Uh, which would mean a seven-year tribulation, uh, that the end of the tribulation would be in 2030? Uh Makes me think of Agenda 2030. No, I'm not saying the tribulation is going to start this year. But what an interesting thing to say. This year, 2023, is year one of this new global order. I had to share this one with you guys today, and I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, but here's the bottom line. If we know the rapture of the church occurs before the Antichrist is revealed, and before the tribulation period begins, and we see the stage continuing to get set up, for this coming empire of the Antichrist, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring. Look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, 
and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that the Jew could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now. Because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming. And he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.